Okay, here we are with uh, the script that I worked on. Um, we got a long ways to go, but the idea behind this auto facial rig is I will create the the joints and some some additional curves for the face, and by doing that, I will uh, speed up my workflow a lot when it comes to uh, rigging my blend shapes. Uh, the additional facial curves that I included or started to build in this uh, script are so that I can uh, push shapes. You know, blend shapes are great, but sometimes they're not perfect and you got to correct them a little bit to get a particular movement. So this is part of uh, what I said I would do for my uh, thesis uh, at my midpoint review. Um, so still got a long ways to go and the idea was uh, once I get this rig done what I'll do is I'll create a series of expressions <coughs> that match um, some of the more basic blend shapes so in theory what I could do is take a base head rig it and create a bunch of blend shapes fairly quickly in theory yet to know if that's going to work so anyway, let me show you where I've gotten to so far. So first thing is this button here, step one, create facial curves. So what you see here is, I'll turn this grid off, a bunch of uh, curves that match uh, the outline of you know, a stylized face, but you can move these curves any way you want. Uh, as you can see here, position to match facial layout, positioning curves on lips, select CVs on both sides, blah blah blah. So this is just so that I know what I'm doing. Uh, if I come back at this and I forget, okay, what do I do in step one? I can't remember. All right. So then I go through each curve, select it, and I can put three, four, five, however many I want on that curve. So I want three joints on this curve. And what it does is it creates a locator, a joint, and another sphere uh, or a nerve circle, which acts as uh, you'll be able to move the uh, curve. Uh, so I'll show you here once it's all set up. All right, next thing is uh, oh, recommend to use five joints on the lower lip. So, I recommend that you use five joints on the lower lip. <laughs> uh, okay, so group the locators. All right, they're all grouped. Uh, next thing is, well, let me back up. Let me see if this is working here. Watch, it won't work, but it should. And, of course, it's not working. Let's see here, why aren't you working? Well, I'm not going to waste your time trying to figure that out. I have to go back into the script and find out what's wrong with that. But anyway, uh, moving on here. Create the main joints. Click that. And you basically have your typical joints for a head rig. Uh, your jaw, your neck, so on and so forth. And again, position them to match the head layout group them and then the next thing is create some main control curves for that uh, head rig so now I have something to control the head, something to control the jaw, something to spin the neck and then you group those Oops. What did I do here? Let's back up. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, so create the main control curves. Group them. There we go. And then connect them to the skeleton. 
and I'm getting an error. What is the error now? Well, as you can see, I have lots of work still to do on this, but um, you get the general gist of what I'm trying to accomplish here.